Hi, this is John Marling, Pulse Research. I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to assist and support you. Everybody on the Pulse team is doing everything we possibly can to help you and your local businesses. Over the next few minutes, I want to go over some specific recommendations on how you can effectively use your new COVID shopping information. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you are painfully aware, every single newspaper has experienced a catastrophic decrease in revenue. But what's important is the reason. And the reason is, is that your local businesses are faced with the impact and the economic uncertainty of COVID-19. And like anybody else, their natural reaction is to cancel their advertising because of that uncertainty and the impact that they are facing. Heck, it's a lot easier to cancel their advertising and lay off people, and there are things they can't adjust, such as the rent, et cetera. So they're canceling because of fear and uncertainty. That's important to, to realize. I want to thank Carolyn Bess, a regional publisher in Washington. She sent us kind of a, a beautiful insight that was a huge catalyst. She said that a current shopping survey would be really helpful for our local businesses who are freaking out right now. I'm sure you can relate to that. It would also help us, the local community paper, be viewed as the trusted advisor who was there to help. And that's the important thing, to help these businesses navigate through these unprecedented times. Now is the best time ever, and I've been in this business a long time, to truly help and assist your local businesses. They need you more than ever. And so Pulse launched the COVID-19 shopping survey. It was really simple. All we did was ask the questions the businesses would ask. They want to know. They don't know what's going to be happening in the next week, next month, because they don't have any history on this. So Pulse asked for them. And I'm pleased to say we had the participation of our clients, you know, across all 50 states and about 15 state press associations partnered with Pulse, you know, to help us promote this survey. Now, the survey, and it's just amazing, we got over 21,000 sample completed surveys from all 50 states. And by the way, it'll be an ongoing survey. Why? Because day to day, week to week, we don't know exactly what's going to be happening. This is very fluid and obviously unprecedented. So you can depend on Pulse to provide ongoing updated information so that you have for your local businesses the information that they desperately need about shopping plans for their business category. And by the way, another thing that's unique about the COVID-19 poll shopping survey is we asked, what do you or somebody in your household plan to buy in the next three months? And so it's very, very insightful, actionable, and relative. So what data do you have within your Pulse program on this new COVID shopping information? Many of you have your own individual audience shopping information. You promoted the survey, you've got a minimal sample, and Pulse has taken your data and put it into your sales tools. Many of you have state data. We've got about 15, 17 states that you have data for newspapers just like yours within your own state, you know, like Texas. Others will have regional data. So for newspapers within your region, your state and the states right around you, you've got information that's very applicable and consistent with your audience shopping plans. Now let's talk a little bit about, and this is the important part of this, this program, is our recommendations on how to use your new COVID impact shopping information. This is based upon you know, what I would do if I was an ad rep again. Number one, retention. Friends help friends. Most of you, matter of fact, all of you, have long-term relationships with your advertisers, your businesses. These are businesses, well, they're not, they're your friends. With the economic uncertainty they're facing, now is the time they need your help. Friends help friends. I strongly recommend that you contact in the next week or so every single one of your existing advertisers, your friends, and share with them 
the next three month shopping plans for their business. This will be very, very encouraging and very, very appreciated. How do you do it? Well, quite simply, within your Pulse program, you have the Pulse teasers that you can use over the phone or by email because many of you are working from home, obviously. Here's an example of the words to say when you're contacting one of your businesses over the phone. I trust you're well. I understand how extremely busy you are, so I'll get right to the reason I'm calling. You know, because COVID-19 has totally altered shopping plans, we participated in a survey to get next three-month paint store shopping plans. Each one of the teasers, by the way, has the information for that specific business category. And here's some encouraging news. We found out there are 2,333 local households who in the next plan three months plan to shop at a paint store. That's based upon your households reached times from the COVID shopping survey, the percent we identified who said in the next three months they're going to shop at a paint store. We also asked details about their specific shopping plans or needs. Would you like to know more about what we found out for your business? And I'm sure you'll agree with me. They're going to say yes, and they're going to be very, very appreciative. The second teaser model is by email. And so it's very simple. You can copy to your clipboard and paste into your own email program the suggested words from Pulse. But it's the same message. You participated in a survey for their business category. Here's the opportunity we found out. You know, 2,303 local households plan to shop at a paint store. That's good news. Would you like to know more about their specific plans? You know, what would be a good time to get together? Once again, they're going to react very positively. Here's the third example of the teaser. You could print and then just copy the address of this page because everything Pulse does, all the presentations, are web pages. So yes, you can email the web address, the URL of your specific Pulse presentation. So in quick summary, recommendation number one, absolutely, without hesitation, your friends need and want your help. Share with them the opportunities, number of households you reach who are going to shop at their business category for the next three months. Think about them for a second. Put yourself in their shoes. They're going to be a very, very encouraged and positive. In addition, we found in the COVID shopping survey information about what your readers want and need from your local businesses. Share this with them because this is what they should be communicating to their customers and prospective customers, i.e. services that are being offered right now. Obviously, so much has changed. You know, the, the community, consumers want to know, is the business open? What are your hours? What services are you offering? Do you have online services, etc.? This is what they should be advertising to communicate to their customers and potential customers their status, their business update. I would also encourage you, remember one of the reasons they canceled, you know, or cut back on their advertising is fear, uncertainty. Show them with the pulse break even calculator. And this is so important. How few customers they need to maintain a consistent program with you. It's not many. It's realistic. It's doable. And I can assure you, if a furniture store saw, for example, that a $12,000 campaign with their customer value of $2,000, a cost of goods of 65%, and a net customer value of $700, and all they need is 18 customers, that's $700, you know, net customer value into $12,000, they only need 18 customers, about one and a half a month, they're going to have a sigh of relief that, yes, they can. It takes away the fear, the risk, and that will go a long way, you know, to confirming your relationship with your friends, your existing advertisers. Recommendation number two, let's get back some of the lost and canceled advertising revenue. How do you get, how do you do that? Once again, they canceled because of fear and uncertainty. Share with them the opportunity of your audience, number of households you reach, who are going to shop their business category over the next three months. I chose a furniture store in this example. Why? Because most furniture stores are closed or operating, you know, with, you know, on a limited basis. And by the way, 
Furniture store shopping in the COVID-19 survey is down 50%. That's understandable. It went from 20% in the January survey to about 10% now. And I want to use that example to make a point. Even though it's gone down significantly, there are still 960 households with a 10,000 circulation publication. They're going to shop at a furniture store in the next three months. That's in the pipeline. That gives them encouragement you know, for the opportunity for their business. And by the way, the previous surveys, Pulse has then asked over the next 12 months. This is over the next three months. It's in the pipeline for them. I would recommend that those businesses that canceled or cut back, show them the Pulse flyer. It's kind of like the super teaser. It shows them the opportunities for their business category, like a furniture store here. This is the 960, 9.6% from the national survey said, we're going to shop at a furniture store next three months, 10,000. That's 960. Just take a moment. If you're a furniture store and you're freaking out, isn't almost 1,000 households you reach going to shop at a furniture store encouraging positive? Heck yes. And then the flyer goes even further shows them the opportunity for specific categories. Like who would have thought there's 260 potential reclining chair, you know, sales in the pipeline, 440 living room, you know, uh, sets, you know, in the pipeline, 260 bedroom furniture. You get the idea. It's all about filling the void and uncertainty with encouraging positive shopping plans of your audience for these business categories. Recommendation, no, oh, excuse me. I would also, with these businesses who cut back, you know, or canceled, show them how few customers they need. Remember in the furniture example, in 960 households, all they would need would be 18 of those 960 that you got in the pipeline. Just 18. Share that with them. That once again is going to take away their fear and uncertainty about reestablishing reconfirming and starting back their advertising with you. If you got 960 households in the pipeline, they're going to want their share of that. And by the way, if they don't advertise, are they going to get less of that? Or are they going to get more if they advertise now? You're darn right, they're going to get more. Recommendation number three, in your Pulse program, we identified in the COVID shopping survey, 51 business categories that because of COVID have an increase in business over the next three months. These are the ones that I would absolutely go out and target and show them the opportunity. A couple examples here, you know, landscaping service up 105%. A neighborhood grocery store up 136%. Wine shop 61%. Plant nursery guard supply up almost 50%. Lumberyard up 39%. Share the positive opportunity for these business categories that the COVID survey has documented for you so you can go out there and share this good news with a teaser or a flyer, okay? And they're going to respond positively. Recommendation number four. For many of you in your Pulse program, you've got Metro Creative Graphics Spec Ad Program. They are overwhelmed right now. Make it easy for them to continue their program and or start back advertising with you by putting together some creative ideas, a campaign that once again makes it easy for them to say yes. And then my fifth recommendation, Pulse has a comprehensive but very, very understandable, usable training and certification program. Many of our clients have required that their team, since they're working from home, to now update, enhance their basic sales skills, and get Pulse certified. Working from home, as I mentioned a moment ago, the teasers are an extremely effective means of communicating and engaging with the business. You can also email the information. And as I mentioned, and it's worth saying again, when you create a flyer or a one-page presentation, look up on your URL, your address of your, of your browser. That address is for that Pulse presentation. You can email them that address. So you call them on the phone. You say, oh, I got good news. 
You know, we participated in a furniture survey over the next three months to find out what's going to be bought. We found 960 homes, you know, blah, blah, blah. May I send it over to you? Because it's also got information on purchasing for living room furniture, bedroom furniture, dining room. And, you know, we thought, oh, yeah, send it over. So you send over that URL. They click on it from their email and up pops on their screen your one your flyer or your one page presentation and you obviously got it on your screen i would also suggest the call planner is a great tool and resource in working from home i want to again thank you for the opportunity to assist and support each one of you during these exceptionally challenging times but let me say that this is the best time to assist and support your local businesses. Many of them are your friends. They need your help, they want your help. And the good news is you have the information that they want, information that's very encouraging and positive about the shopping plans of your audience for their business category, along with the products and services for the next three months. If we can help in any way, any questions, email support at pulseresearch.com or my email is marling, M-A-R-L-I-N-G at paper.net. Thanks again. We appreciate the opportunity to help you and stay well. Thanks.